Hey guys, it is Mimic. Welcome to another session of Grim Fandango Remastered. First, I would like to apologize for the um, sudden abruptness of this video, but I'd like to explain a few things that have happened in the course of well, the last few weeks. I've been unable to make another part of the Grim Fandango due to technical difficulties, both in real life and due to the computer's um, issue, well not the computer itself, but the program that I'm recording with. Essentially, what happened before, after the last part, the, the software or the file, whichever happened, after the recording, the file went corrupt. It couldn't play the video that had uh, the next part to it, so I couldn't upload it to YouTube. Well, I could, but it would just be a uh, a video with just sound and no video. So it wouldn't exactly be a video, it would more be a sound file. Anyway, <clears throat> essentially, after that, after, after that, um, you know, mishap, it was, it was a 40 minute video, and after that I decided to take a little break. And, you know, spend a few weeks just trying to do some animations. So after that, uh, I wanted to go back to Green Fandango, but, you know, th things kept delaying it. But after that, after, I think it was like two weeks ago, I wanted to try it out again, but I couldn't because on that week, my toilet exploded. Well, it, it didn't explode, it's more like it was, you know, filled up with some sort of plant matter. I'm not even sure what it is. It, it was, I'm not sure if it was roots or some actual plant, but it covered the entire 20... Five layers of pipe. Well, not layers. Twenty-five uh, feet of pipe. So, because of that, the uh, room smelled and needed to be ventilated. But now, all that's finished. So, now, after all that, I feel like I can get back to Grim Fandango and finally finish it. Well, get back to it and finish it on a later date, but. Anywho, let's just get right back to it. When we last left off, we have Manny, who just got kicked off the boat, and we have to... What do we have to do? Uh, let's check. Could you go over that part again about why I can't board? Uh, still no room for you on board. No word from Naranja, but he's done this before. But I'm first on the waiting list. As it were, yeah. yeah about that union card, Manny. I have one. I just left it in my other coat. And don't forget that Gladys has got to bring his own tools. He will. He doesn't go anywhere without a lot of tools. Good. Because neither does the limbo. Don't just sit around here collecting barnacles. Right. Right. I have to get tools for Gladys. I have to get... Um... The card. And I have to get rid of the guy. Somehow. Luckily I've done most of it. In the uh, last recording. Unfortunately, I didn't... Unfortunately, it got lost when it got corrupted. How do I go about doing this stuff again? Oh, here we go. This way. Press shift to run. I'm getting back to the group of things. Open this. All right, let's just speed on through and see what goes up. Oh wait! I need to go this way. I need to go down there. There it is, Max's giant cat racetrack. How's a regular guy with three roulette tables supposed to compete with that? With four roulette <laughs> tables. That's you got. That's how you could do it. I have to do something here. No, 
no, no. Talk to the guy. Looks like it hurts. Looks like it hurts. Whoop! I need that. You need to hold still, or I need to strap you down. Strong stuff. Bet I'd have killed the pain. Should, but you don't. I killed the pain. Turn off my drill. Stop working. How about that? No, no, no. I can take it. Bring it on, pops. I'll pop you, sailor boy. Looks like it hurts. Hola, Toro. ¿Cómo estás? Not now, Manny. I'm in the middle of something with Naranya here. Ah, so that's Naranya. Alright. Alright, I didn't know about that, but, you know, I have to act... Derp. Dead. Well, anyway, from what I can remember, Naranya... This was like two weeks ago. No, not two weeks. Two... One, two, three... Three... Four... Uh, I'm starting to lose track of time. Essentially, a couple of weeks ago, I, uh... It's been a while since I played this. So I'm trying to remember everything. Yeah, it's me, baby. How'd you know? Hey, don't say that, sweetheart. You know I meant to stop by and... I'm more happy about leaving town every minute. I told you, Calavera, not now! Doubt I'll be touching that any time soon. And that's one old fridge. It's empty. Ah! Hey, shut door. You slowed down my grinder. Very painful. Very painful, eh, Naranja? Like torture. <laughs> <laughs> Crazy guy. Alright, so I have to find something. Alright, I need to visit some place. Need to go here. Uh, it's been so long since I played this game. I've been playing other games. Uh, well, I, I've just been playing Dota for the last few weeks. So my uh, point and click s uh, skills are quite bad. <laughs> Beloved Sandspoof, this regal and majestic feline was a record holder for speed and a favorite of the crowds here in Rubacaba for many years until her career was suddenly and tragically cut short on the second week of the racing season when the airship Olivia One, on its maiden voyage, crashed onto the track mid-race and exploded. Many bereaved fans testified later that before the blimp hit, Sandspoof was in the lead. Aw, poor sense boof. They don't have much use when they're alive, and stuff, they don't have much more. night for cat races. And it certainly is. Please keep off the track. Hello. Oh, hi. 
Hey, betting stuff, please. What? I need the betting stuff for the race you're interested in. Interested in how? In the rest didn't seem the photo finish file for, of course. Oh, I, I don't have a betting stuff. Oh, okay. Bye. Do not pet the cats, please. I want to pet the cats. Uh, let's see, what's here? Sorry, monsieur, but this is the elevator to the High Rollers Lounge. That's where I'm going. It is members only. You must be new. And we're you must have a star. VIP pass to come upstairs. Adieu. Oh, Buffalo, full of curiosity. A loop boat. El Gato Gordo. Kissing pretty. All right, so I have to go up here. Oh, yeah, I remember wow, now. Manny Calavera. You never come up here to see me anymore. Well, I thought you could use the company with everybody gone for the Day of the Dead. In that case, Manny, why don't you stick around until six? That's when I get off. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. Hey, hey, official documents. Don't touch. A lot of paperwork. A lot of passengers. Everybody's back home but you and me. It's locked. I want to touch it. It's not portable. When did you put in a floor safe? That's our new contained detonation chamber in case someone tries to come through here with a bomb. Since when does Rubicaba have a terrorism problem? This town's changing, Manny. It's getting tougher every day. What's the shuttle waiting for? Oh, they're just cleaning it, but they're very thorough. We run a tight ship here, you know. Busy night? Hardly. Everybody's gone home for the holiday already. This place is dead, and I'm... Ooh, I love this part. Does that walk animation look weird to you? Sir, if you will, please place all of your belongings on the security desk. You sure you're not packing anything else? Nothing that would set off that thing. Then, sir, I'm afraid you'll have to step into the back with me. Ooh, baby. Ooh, rules. And of course, with my dad being in the military, we moved around a lot. Mm -hmm. I remember this one town we moved to when I was in the first grade. Oh, really? Yeah, the only industry in the area was figs. Oh, wow, her acres legs are really shaky. Fig trees everywhere you, you looked. Don't say. I myself never really cared for figs. I always liked dates more. No, no, me neither. Or prunes. Don't you just love prunes? Actually, figs are a personal favorite. They have such a great texture. They're all wrinkled Never up like my Grandma Hedwig's face. Oh, <laughs> poor Grandma Hedwig. She was always forgetting Hedwig, things. Hedwig, that's an interesting name. I remember one time back when I was six. Or maybe I was seven. Ah, six. The golden year. No, 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 no. I had to be six because Mr. Rufus was still alive. Probably you were seven. Now there was a good dog, Mr. Rufus. Mr. Rufus? He was such a sweet little puppy. We I didn't care I had a that he was once. deaf. He was as deaf as they come, but he'd still try to bark. And it would Have come out sounding like a bark? cat coughing up a hairball, which our cat I often remember did. I had he had a such once. long hair. I don't really like long Long-haired cats, do you, Manny? Ooh, ick. They're just so... I like short-haired cats. They seem less no, stuck up. No, they're harder to pick out of the grill. People think I'm stuck up sometimes, believe it or not. No, 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 they really do. I don't know Actually, why. I thought you were pretty stuck up the first time I met you. I guess it's because I'm so shy. I was shy all the way through high school. I never went to a single dance. I was in detention all the way it? through high school. <laughs> don't get me wrong, the boys would ask, but I'd just run away. My mom said I could have been homecoming away. queen if I just smiled right once now. in a while. She always said... 
A smile is the most important part of any outfit. Well, yeah, maybe I would have right. smiled more, Mom, if you hadn't drank so much. Was I supposed to smile mm. when the cops called us in the middle of the night to tell us to come Jesus. to the drunk tank? Maybe if I had uh. smiled more, Daddy wouldn't have left us. We'd be together right now. Really you, to me, Daddy, and Grandma Hedwig, and Mr. Yikes. Rufus. And I'd be wearing my homecoming queen crown and I need to eating call my figs book. and 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 I yeah figs no, and no. oh god <laughs> I'm so sorry oh god <laughs> oh god <laughs> don't cry Mommy. now now hmm, how long would she be able to do this? Good lord. Don't cry. Don't cry. Hmm, I wonder if I can click on her. Eh, why as well. Let me hold that metal detector for you while you cry. Did you just come back here to ask to borrow my metal detector? Yes. What is it with you in this thing? I'm sick of it, Manny. If this is all you uh, I always thought I could get that. Why is it all men are after the same thing? Except you. Without her the doing that. You care about is that Colomar Dame, and she split on you. I don't know what she did to you, but you know what? I'm done trying to figure it out, pal. Carla. They're locked. They're lockers. They're locked. They're lockers. These lockers have a note on them. Employees, I don't care who's doing it, but please stop using the contained detonation chamber to crack open walnuts. Thank you. Uh, you know, I've always thought if you talk to her long enough, she would just give you the thing or she'd drop it. But it never happened. So, yeah. Alright, so, plan worked. She dropped her thing. Bye, Carla. Dropped it! Well, wait. Wait, you all saw that, right? For a second there, I thought her butt just suddenly twisted. I, I wasn't imagining that, right? You guys saw that. Uh, let's just continue on. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm confused. I'm too confused. Let's see, Hindenburg. It only goes to the land of the living, and there's nothing for me there. Hey, the new blimp is already in full operation. Let's just hope they fill it with something non flammable this time. Hindenburg. Get in there. Only police chief Bogan knows how to get in there. What a horrible jail cell. Then again, he sure talked a lot of I don't know what I've been told. Catching mice is mighty bold. Going down. Let's see, there was also something else I was supposed to do. I'm supposed to give a letter or thingy, something, to one of the dudes at the blue casket. You know, this always reminded me of a hotel I once saw. Ticket printer, we're gonna make a mint. No. Ah, here it is. I'm supposed to show it to this guy. Hey, 
did I ever tell you guys that you remind me of my friend, Salvador Limones? Salvador Limones is a fairy tale, a spook story the man tells the masses as he puts them to sleep. Idiot! Salvador Limones is a very real and a very great, great man. He also writes a mean letter. What is this? I, Salvador Limones, salute you. Manuel Calavera? A great ally in this noble revolution. You really know Salvador Limones? What's he like? Why didn't you tell us you were a freedom fighter, Manuel? I can't talk about my underground gig, man, where I put the whole scene in Dangerville. Wow. Heavy. Hey, uh, I've got a split, so, um... Viva la revolucion. Oh, man. Let's see, I'm, I know that book is important, so I have to take Would that. You catch mine if I dug on this book for a while. Knock yourself out, brother. Labor organization and revolt made easy. Chapter one: The workers shall control the means of production. Ooh, better not show that to Glottis. <laughs> show it to him. Let's see, how do I put this away? Labor organization and revolt made chapter the work. Ooh. That ain't it. T? W? Looks pretty dry. I'll save it for tonight when I'm trying to get some sleep. Huh? Looks pretty dry. I'll save it for tonight when I'm trying to get some sleep. Hi, what's your name? Hmm. Testing? Testing? Good evening. I like, like to read a poem. Yeah. Unify. Rectify. Hello. I reach out. Myself. Myself. I can't bear it. You said this to me in your sleep. Pointlessness. Wallow. D and we hear you, Daddy. Lola, what are you doing here? This crowd doesn't go much for souvenir pictures, except maybe of Lenin. Shh, Manny, I'm on a stakeout. I'm gonna prove to Maximino once and for all that Olivia's no good for him. Still hung up on Max, eh? Take my advice, Angel. Forget about him. He's a gambling racketeer. <laughs> like you. Oh. Oh, that hurts, baby. Shh, here they come. Come on, sugar. How about a kiss for the road? Oh, ick. Don't let me down, Nick. You're a lawyer. You're not supposed to have that twitchy food. head. I don't, but I know a good tart when I see one. Hey! If Maximino sees that, we're going to end up in matching terracotta pots. Don't be silly. He wouldn't hurt me. He loves me. Uh -huh. Manny, at last we're alone. Tell me, how are the bourgeoisie? Fine. How's Max? Oh, Gramps, don't start. What are you doing with a snake like Nick? I'd lay it on you, Manny, but uh, I don't think you'd get it. Messing around with your boyfriend's lawyer is pretty dangerous. Oh, maybe I was wrong. You do get it. I'm a little worried about Lola. That's because she's doomed, Manny. She fell in love with Maximino. That's the one mistake I never made. You think Nick would hurt her? Only if he finds her and take it from me. He's not good at finding things. Open mic night seems like a big hit. It always takes those timid souls a while to get up the nerve. Maybe it would help if you went up there and started things rolling. Oh, Manny, read poetry in my own club? That would be like this whole place was just a big temple set up to worship me. Mm-hmm. Oh, come. Okay. Unify. Unify. Rectify. Rectify. Alone. I reach, reach out. out. Wait a minute. Myself. That's my poem. I can't bear it. You, you said, said this, this to me in your sleep. sleep. Pointlessness. Wow. Hey, 
stole my bomb. Consider it an homage. A little dark in here, don't you think? Dark and cold, like the hearts of men. Uh... You know, I'm thinking of buying this place. Really? I thought about buying yours for a while. But then I just decided to ask my boyfriend, Max, to buy it for me. Then buy it. You can have it. I'm leaving town. Manny, you sound so exciting all of a sudden. Why are you leaving town? Well, I'm not, uh, you know, humping the wall. I'm chasing a woman I met once and can't forget. Well, I have a poem I wrote just for you. Pay attention because it's pretty short. Here it goes. Ch uh, 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 uh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, catch you later, hip chick. Keep practicing that lingo, man. You'll get it. The twitch. Stop twitching. Just the dab will drop you. Hey man, you didn't see me put the secret ingredient in these coffin shooters, did you? Relax. Olivia stole the recipe from me in the first place. Yeah. She steals from the rich and gives to me to pour. Clever. Clever wordplay. <laughs> 